Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. We will continue with well above normal high temperatures right on through Friday and probably Saturday. Uh, then a cold front comes through and that'll knock temperatures down maybe for a couple of days, a little bit below normal, back to normal as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. So it looks like this uh, heat spell, warm weather spell will come to an end as say Saturday's cold front moves through Southeast Texas. Regardless, the next couple of days, the record for Thursday is 82, or I'm sorry, 81 in 1908. We're forecasting 82. Then on Friday, the record is 82. We're forecasting 81. So near or record high temperatures possible uh, Thursday and Friday. Otherwise, the weekend, some changes. Still looking at widespread shower and thunderstorm activity coming up on Saturday. I don't think we're going to see severe weather and I don't think we'll see heavy rainfall, but it looks like late morning the rains begin in the lakes area and around noontime here in the triangle and the rest of the afternoon looks wet. Sunday, we had drippy and dreary yesterday. Remember that for Sunday? Well, that's changed. It looks like we're going to move the drippy dreary to Monday. So just cloudy and chilly coming up on Sunday. It's all due to the upper level disturbances moving towards our area, but big storms, Nebraska, Iowa, uh, Minnesota, and Wisconsin as this very strong upper level disturbance moves through. Here comes our next cold front. You can see this troughiness. See that? That dip? That'll drag a cold front through our area still on Saturday. That hasn't changed. It's this right here. Modeling is atrocious when you're dealing with uh, Baja upper level lows. This is low pressure and you're at 18,000 feet. Not a lot of stations that pick up model data over Mexico. So when storm systems come in from the southwest, the modeling usually doesn't do real well. Case in point today. So modeling has slowed this low moving through our area. Instead of Sunday, it looks like Monday now. So that's why this has changed. And there you go. Monday looks drippy and dreary and chilly across the area. Tonight though, anything but drippy and chilly. Uh, looks like maybe an isolated sprinkle, but I think we could see record warm low temperatures tomorrow morning, about 70 under cloudy skies, some patchy fog possible. Then tomorrow we get partly sunny skies after a foggy, I should say cloudy morning, and we're right back up. 81 coming up tomorrow afternoon. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at choppy seas around 2 to 4 feet in your coastal marine forecast, a southeast wind to 10 to 15 knots. Uh, water temperature 65 tonight, cloudy, patchy fog. Record warm low temperatures are possible, about, about 70 expected. Tomorrow, many of us will see about 80, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a sprinkle, otherwise very warm and breezy under partly sunny skies. So not much change through Friday, Saturday, that should be a yellow bar day for an 80% coverage of rain and thunderstorms across the area. Again, heavy rainfall and severe weather not expected, but we could see temperatures falling uh, by late day across the area. Otherwise, Sunday has improved. It just looks gray and chilly. Monday's not going to be fun if you work outside for a living. It looks chilly or at least cool and drippy. Then the sun returns. Tuesday and into Wednesday of next week. More weather at 12newsnow.com slash weather. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, have a great Wednesday evening.